All right, welcome back to Philo in the Philippines. North Caloocan City, where the city meets the province, baby. We are back. We're firing up the Tagalog language lessons again. And uh, just as a reminder to everybody watching, I am not an expert on Tagalog languages. On the Tagalog, I'm sorry, on the Tagalog language. I've actually made a few mistakes on some of the phrases that I've given you folks. Uh, now, we've done probably about 25 useful Tagalog phrases. And... Uh, Leave me a comment below for the new subscribers. If you're interested in learning Tagalog, I can do another video and do all of the Tagalog phrases so you guys can catch up. Because well, you'd, you'd have to go back and watch uh, several videos to catch up with on the language lessons with, with the everybody else is, uh, that everybody else is a part of. Um, I want to uh, show you guys, uh, before we get started, the new channel logo that Melanie made. This is actually a sticker. Mel Melanie had these made up. Check that out. How cool is that? That's our new channel logo. And uh, at the Joseph and Jinky thing, all of the moto vloggers were passing out stickers for your motorbike. So Melanie thought that was cool. And when I was in Angeles, uh, she made up this channel logo for me and had those stickers made and surprised me with that. That was really nice, I thought. Okay, now for the Tagalog language, we're going to start counting. We, we, we already know quite a few phrases, right? So now we're going to start going into single words and build our vocabulary. Um, Okay, so we're going to start out by counting. Okay, isa, dalawa, and tatlo. One, two, three. What I'm going to do is I'm going to give you to at least number ten. You seldom need to go past six, really, here it seems like. But isa, dalawa, tatlo. Okay, now, uh, today's video, uh, I'm actually searching for the family home uh, of one of my subscribers. And her name is Len DeTessio. She's an OFW in Hong Kong, and uh, she left me a message uh, a couple of days ago that her family home is just very close to where it's within walking distance uh, of where I live. So I told her I'd go out and try and find it. So she gave me a basic idea where the house was at. Uh, she told me it was the, at the end of Congressional Road, which is exactly where I, I went, and, I, and she said it was a house with red and white paint. And I did find a red and white house at the end of Congressional Road. So, Lind, um, I hope that the, the home I found is yours. I was a little too shy to knock on the gate, plus there was an aggressive dog there that came out, uh, which doesn't happen often here, really. Uh, but anyway, it ended up being a really fun video, a great walk around. It's a look at a different village uh, that, than what we live in, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Lynn DeTessio, I really hope that I found your home. If I didn't find your home, Leave me a comment, and we'll try again, okay? Because it was fun to make the video. I haven't done a walk around in a while. So thanks, you guys, for your support. Uh, give me a like. Give us a thumbs up. Give us a share. If you haven't subscribed already, please do. We appreciate your support, and we really, really enjoy vlogging for you guys. See you on the next video. I hope you enjoy this one. Bye now. All right. How's everybody doing? Welcome back, guys. Milo in the Philippines, North Calocan City, where the city meets the province, baby. And uh, doing a little walk around today for one of my subscribers. I have a subscriber. Her name is Lind DeTessio. And uh, her family, her, her home is, look at that pig. Oh, and the dogs are going to get him. Pig walking down the middle of the street and the dogs want to get him. <laughs> Actually, one of those dogs there is pretty aggressive. I just wanted to smell him. You can't mess with something that weighs ten times what you weigh. Anyway, so... <laughs> so funny. Anyway, back to the... Uh, I have a subscriber whose family lives fairly close to here. Her family home is fairly close to, uh, to to my home and she has described to me where her house is uh, so I decided to do a walk around video and see if I can find it maybe say hello to her family uh, and maybe she would get a big kick out of that uh, she told me that she is an OFW in Hong Kong and uh, she watches the vlog uh, because she misses the area so much you know look how nice this house is you guys look at that Isn't that nice? Somebody put a lot of thought 
and effort into this. This is a, a beautiful house. And very simple, just a single story. Really nice, uh, almost done up in a Japanese fashion. Anyway, uh, that's what we're up to. We're doing a little walk around and uh, see if we can find uh, Lynn DeTessio's home. She gave me uh, some semi-good directions and we'll just see if we can find it. All right, that's what we're doing. Here's my favorite basketball court. This one's so nice, you know. You know, it's funny, I think uh, it was Philly Bryan I was talking to one day when we were hanging out. And uh, it doesn't matter where the subdivision is, even if it's in a squatter's area, the basketball court's gonna be really nice, you know. Uh, plus they're dual purpose uh, type things, not just for basketball, but they do community things, you know, in a lot of these community gatherings. Uh, at this particular one, this particular basketball court, there's a Zumba class almost every morning. I've seen, uh, seen the girls out here doing Zumba. So, I think that's at about 7 a.m. though. Oh, they got a wire up there. They want to keep people from going through there. Anyway, when I get a little bit closer, oh, I got some dust on the lens. Sorry, guys. When I when I get a little bit closer there, I'll turn the camera back on and uh, see if I'm successful in finding the home, the family home of one of my subscribers. Here we go. Oh, by the way, this is. Uh, I'll leave the camera on for just a little bit longer here. This is Congress Village, by the way, right next door to our our subdivision. And uh, I know you guys love to see the area, you know. Everybody, everybody seems to enjoy the walk around videos the most. Um, but also, I don't want to. Boy, look at all the banana trees here. This whole lot. Look at the amount. Look at the amount of banana trees on this lot. Can you, I don't know if you can see those. There's a giant bunch hanging there. Somebody's just got a little banana tree farm here, it looks like. How awesome is that? I don't see any more, oh, there you go. There's a big batch. Can you see that batch of bananas hanging there? How awesome is that? The problem with these uh, type of plants, these banana trees, is they're very destructive. They're very destructive to walls, concrete walls, things of that nature. So uh, we took ours down. We took ours down. We got a, a giant batch of bananas. I don't know if you guys remember that. That's way back when Melanie and I went to Bangkok. We had a giant bunch of bananas. And uh, Now here on the right, this is the house that we rented for Melanie's birthday. It's the white pool house. Yeah, there you go. Now that was a fun day, you know. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm seeing dust on the lens. I don't wanna, that was a fun day. We, we all just remember that day so fondly. We all had such a great time. I don't know if it was just the, the mojo <laughs> we're just the idea of you know hanging with family all the kids were so happy everybody's swimming you know you just can't ask for a better time now back there in the distance is that big house I'm always showing you guys Looks like it's mostly done and they're working on the inside of it now. Oh, there's Basura Basura. That's the trash collecting, trash collection man. Love this lot too. 
big house. I don't know what that is they've got built in the back, but it's nice. Really nice home. Another really nice house here on the corner, guys. Some of these I don't notice, you know, unless I'm out trying to do a walk around for you guys. That's beautiful, man. Good morning. YouTube. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> She was a little shy. She asked me what I was doing with my camera. I think it's Gumagawa Akonang video. I'm making a video. I think. Sorry, sorry, store that's advertising for KFC there. Now this little restaurant up here on the left is where we bought all the ice for the mojo that day of the party now we must have came back here five times to buy ice from this lady <laughs> anyway this is congressional avenue you guys and apparently lynn lynn's home is all the way at the end of congressional we'll see if i can find it and maybe some of her family members are home so here we go Well, this is the uh, Sambaguita subdivision. You can see how nice it is back here, guys. I mean, look how wide open this is. This is almost, you know, this is pretty provincy here. So, I failed uh, in finding Lynn DeTessio's home. She told me that she lived at the very end of Congressional Road, which Congressional Road turns into Citizens Avenue. So, I don't know. She said she hadn't lived in a red and white house at the very end of Congressional Road. So I went there. I went to the very end of Congressional Road. There's no house with red and white paint. So we must have got, I got something mixed up. I don't know. I know, I know. We'll see. Hey, how you guys doing? Hey. All right. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to double back here and see if I missed something, but I, I don't think I did. Sorry, Lind, I tried. Hey, how you doing? All right. Magan Daimo Maga. right down the street from the cemetery, the Forest Park Cemetery. This area is known as Banker's Village. The area that we're walking in right now. Uh, don't think I have ever vlogged this, so this is something new. For my critics who say that my content is getting stale, um, I guess my life's pretty boring. Anyway.
Morning, how you doing? All right, go to a restaurant there. Anyway, kind of a, it's kind of a neat area here. I like it here a lot. I like this area and I like uh, actually Congress Village, which is the one next to, right next to our subdivision. But this area here is kind of wide open, you know. Has a very provincey feel. Oh, check this out. Must be a body shop or something. Nice car. Look at that. Man. Yeah. Man, they are doing some custom work on this car. Two thousand Honda. Yeah. Oh, very nice. We boosted it. And what is your name, sir? Uh, Rev. Rev. Yeah. Okay. So I just kind of stumbled across this body shop in Bankers Village and uh, they do custom work, custom race cars you guys, look at this. Very friendly. There's another one back here. Very nice. All right. Thanks for your time. That's me. Right, Check it out. Thank you. All right. <laughs> nice meeting you. That's a nice car. Too bad it didn't. Too bad he couldn't, couldn't get him to start that thing up. I bet that sounds good. Anyway, well, there you go. That was kind of unexpected, but fun, right? <laughs> A race car shop right here in Bankers Village. Didn't even know it was here. And now he's got the, uh, how you doing? He's got the official Philo in the Philippines sticker. I'm gonna try and get this in all the trikes. <laughs> all of the trikes in uh, Palmera. See if we can generate some Filipino subscribers. That would be cool, right? Anyway, more looking around, you guys. That was cool running into those guys. I had no idea that was there. And you're talking some big money for a car like that. My God. I mean, where I'm from in Los Angeles, you know. How you doing? Morning. People put a couple of hundred thousand dollars into a car like that. A show quality race car. Some are used for drifting. You know, some are just, some are just built for speed, just to look good and to be cool. So anyway, guys, uh, Lynn DeTessio, I apologize for not being able to find your house, although I'm doubling back now. And I'm gonna turn the camera back on when I get to the very end of Congressional Road, and I'll show you where I thought your house was. 
because Congressional Road does end and it turns into, I believe it's Citizens Avenue. But we'll see when we get back here, okay? I'll turn the camera back on when we get to the very end of Congressional Road. Once again, guys, Philo in the Philippines trying to find the family home of one of my subscribers who lives very close to me. Uh, ended up being a pretty cool walk around. And we found an awesome race car shop that I didn't even know existed. So I'll make some friends there. Maybe I can stop by and visit those guys again and hang out with them. And uh, maybe I'll get to go for a ride in one of their cars. That'd be cool too. Okay, here we are. There is Forest Park Cemetery right there. And that's where we came from, is Banker's Village. All right, how you guys doing? All right, check that out. Yes. Okay. Salamat po. Yeah. Found a nice little yeah. found a nice little pineapple stand here on the side of the road. 35 pesos long. Masadap. Yes. Salamat guys. Okay. Oh. oh. Here. Okay. I'm vlogger on yes. YouTube. Okay, nice to meet you. Yes. <laughs> Okay, uh, there we go. <coughs> okay, now this is the very end of Congressional Road, right here. Okay. Where Congressional turns into Citizens Avenue. So, unless it's that house right there, I don't know. She told me the end of Congressional Road, a red and white house. Now all we have in this direction are businesses, so I don't know. Anyway, Lind, I tried. Maybe we can, uh, maybe you can leave me another message or something with a little bit greater detail on where it's at. Congressional Road literally ends right here. This is where it ends and turns into Bankers Village. Okay. So I don't know. I know I'm close. But somehow I missed it. Or maybe it's up here among these businesses. I don't know. I guess that's possible too. There's a few houses here. This could be it right here. Yeah, in fact, uh, I think I may have stumbled across it. She said red and white paint at the end of Congressional. Okay, all right. That's it, but I hope it is. I hope I found it. No thanks. <laughs> no thank you. Have a good day. If that's it, awesome. But I don't know. She did say, uh, 
I hope that's it. Anyway. That dog, that dog kind of scared me away. I don't, I was hoping there would be somebody outside I could talk to and just ask, you know, but. Anyway. There's a good chance that might be the one. I don't really know. Let's hope. All right, guys. I think that's going to wrap this one up. The funny thing is, I was just thinking about this. I won't know if I found it till I post the video and she comments. So, anyway. Uh, thanks for coming along. That was a fun walk around. And we got ourselves a beautiful piña. 35 pesos long. And, uh... Coming back now through Union Village. There you go. Thanks for coming along on this walk around. I'm very happy with the way it came out. That was kind of fun, actually. I haven't done one in a while. And I hope I, I found your house, Lind. If I didn't, uh, you know. Hey, guys. We can try again another time. Thanks so much for watching Farlow in the Philippines. More later, guys.